Hello everyone, let me introduce the Log Viewer, the latest feature provided by Apache SyncUp 2. Let's first uh, run into some introduction. Given the Apache SyncUp reference architecture, um, we have a core uh, application, which is essentially a REST server providing all the REST services, all the IDM services, uh, and normally, if you want to inspect log statements generated by the core, you will need physical access to the server running the core application. Um, also, normally, the administration console is a web application that could be deployed separately from the core, as it only interacts with it via REST. The log viewer is a feature that enables the administration console to inspect the log events which are happening into the core application. But let's take a look at it. After logging into the administration console, the new feature is available under configuration logs. Let's launch the log viewer. Log viewer at first uh, presents the list of available appenders. Appenders are configured normally as other uh, log4j features from the log4j to configuration file. Here we have four appenders predefined, but naturally this can be changed. Uh, the, let's take a look at the main appender, which is essentially where the, the, the general communication is going to. Each log statement, as you can see, uh, reports the, the, the information that one is expected to find in these cases. So the timestamp, uh, the logger, uh, and message, and possibly, when uh, available, the full stack trace for when there is an exception. The, mess, the statement background is also meaningful. In this case, it indicates that these are info messages. If we scroll down, we will see all the newest statements uh, at the bottom. Uh, let's uh, see that work. So uh, once uh, started this separate pop-up window, we are free to operate uh, into the administration console and to see if the operations that are that we are um, the changes we are making here that are of course implemented by invoking the core will also generate logging statements. So uh, I know that the the user Rossini, this artist of course, has uh, some propagation tasks which will uh, go into error, and uh, so they will give us the chance to show how the log viewer is working. As you can see, for example, while we've been um, discussing, there are some uh, warning statements were generated anyway. So let's uh, start with some error uh, statements. I'm clicking here. I know that this operation went into failure. So I would expect to find more details about this, fa this failure into uh, the log messages. As which to the log viewer window and I see here that I have now now two more uh, statements and I also have available all the details about stack traces. Uh, naturally as the information may, uh, may be uh, too uh, long to fit into a small window I've also the ability to expand and uh, examine everything. Another feature which we can uh, enjoy with the log viewer is related to something that is actually available since the very earliest version of Apache Synco. And uh, I'm talking about the ability of dynamically adjusting the logger level uh, for uh, catching specific um, conditions. So for example, here we have the org Apache CXF logger, uh, which is set to the error level. Mm, this means that only error messages related to CXF are reported into the logs. Uh, but for some specific conditions, as you can imagine, I might want to debug uh, 
and to uh, in, in order to um, examine in detail what is happening uh, inside the CXF server. So for this case, um, let's move into the REST appender. As you can see here, we have almost no messages. Uh, and uh, let's try to put the uh, 6F logger to debug. I would expect that log messages will immediately start flooding the, uh, into, the, uh, into the REST uh, appender. And as you can see here, we have all uh, the, 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 the messages related to the CXF operation that are ongoing into the server. Um, we hope uh, this new feature uh, is, uh, could be useful to increase your uh, productivity. So, enjoy it!